My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Well, I'm excited about this one here, this 1968 Impala Fastback, or sports coupe they call it, is a genuine documented numbers matching super sport with a 396 big block under the hood, factory air conditioned car, bucket seats console, 62,000 mile car, three owners, lived in Georgia all of its life, nice, nice car, restored from the ground up. I've got right here a protecto plate, owner's manual, sales literature. We have the build sheet and a copy of the original uh, invoice. Uh, so it is documented. This is a real deal car. And it also comes with uh, some miscellaneous receipts about the restoration that's been done and some other uh, things that pertain to documenting the original miles. Go to volocars.com. You can take your time to study all the pictures, including uh, copies of the documentation we posted. Uh, that's where you can read the information about the car, and you'll find the price tag on every one of the cars we have for sale, along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you're notified when the new ones are posted. We've got a lot of great, exciting cars uh, on their way. Uh, so right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, this is one of those cars. This is easy for, for us to sell. My salesman shouldn't even get a commission. This one's just going to be too easy. It's a clean, rust-free, number-match, documented car. Lived in Georgia all of its life. It's a three-owner car. The second owner only owned it for a couple of months, so it's almost a two-owner car. Uh, super clean underneath. Painted a semi-gloss black, but the floors... The factory braces, rockers, lower quarter panels, all that's clean, neatly painted. They didn't just go in there and spray over, you know, flaky paint or old rust or anything like that. It's very neatly done. Looks like the fuel tank was replaced. Has dual exhaust with stainless steel Flow Pro mufflers. Comes all the way out the back here. Um, drum brakes all around. E-brake is hooked up. At the time of restoration, it was in the early 2000s, the brakes were all redone. Uh, the front end was completely rebuilt and most of the parts were powder coated. The control arms, sway bar, uh, there's a list of parts in the receipts that were powder coated, it's all rebuilt. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless because the car was done in the early 2000s, but it hasn't had many miles put on it. It has 62,800 uh, on it now, and it wasn't much less than that when it was restored. Um, <clears throat> so bottom of the motor, spotless, starter looks like new, original number, VIN number match, turbo 400 automatic, has the tag riveted to the side, dated 1968. That's also clean and fresh looking. Uh, the drive shaft and 12 bolt rear end all look clean. So very, very tidy, exceptionally nice underneath this car. Uh, and back has coil over shocks as well, and the springs look like they're new. The body itself, again, they call it the sports coupe. Uh, fastback, I've always called it, because that sloping rear window is windows almost laying flat. That really makes this big car look very sporty. Uh, the body itself, again, Georgia car, no rust. No issues here. This is all straight clean metal. Right down to the bottom has the factory spot weld dimples underneath still. No bubbles, all lines up nice and square. Got a nice body line down the middle here. This is all looking really good. No issues. Yep, has the bumps under this side too. It's original quarter panels. The body lines are not wavy or mismatched. The door fits square and flush. The roof is excellent. This thing's long and it is straight. 
This has the guard package, so it has the side moldings, has door edge guards, that's on the build sheet. It says Super Sport right here. Uh, hood lines up nice, all square, straight, actually very square. All beautiful, beautiful mint body. Ermine white, and it's smooth and glossy. I don't see any significant flaws worth pointing out at all. The chrome, the bumpers, the original bumpers were re-chromed as the optional bumper guards that was on the build sheet. T3 headlights, they put correct headlights in there. And at the time of restoration, they polished the grill, polished the wheel well moldings. All the stainless trim around the windows have been polished. The windshield's crystal clear, is probably replaced. The chrome vent window frame is mint. The window uh, seals in here look to be really nice, probably replaced. The rubber's replaced. They did replace the antenna with a power antenna. That works. Uh, the rear window is crystal clear. It has some water spots on it, though. <clears throat> but the trim, polished like chrome. Back bumper's re-chromed. has the little bumper guards. The emblems look beautiful. Tail lights look beautiful. Earlier I said I don't see any flaws worth mentioning. I don't really see any flaws. I haven't found a nick or a chip or any issue at all. Uh, so body and paint's excellent. The chrome Kreger wheels really give it that muscle car look. And look at the stance this car has. Uh, but they just sparkle. They're beautiful. I know they're a few years old, but they look like they were put on yesterday. Same thing with the BF Goodrich tires. They're 15 inch, but they are meatier in back. Little part of the rubber uh, insert here is missing. Here's a mark, and I think that'll buff off. I'm pretty sure, but there is a brown straight line right there I think will polish out. Got 396 emblems. All right, let's open it up, show you what the inside's all about. All right, let's see what we have in this giant trunk. Very clean. Bottom of the trunk lid, smooth, clean, nice paint. Same with the uh, jam, nice crisp, nice clean seams. The weather strip is replaced. The trunk compartment's very neatly spatter painted. It's all solid, clean metal. Trunk mat has been replaced. Has a spare and a jack assembly is all there. Very, very nice trunk compartment, huge. How many yards of mulch can you fit in this one? <laughs> Door jams are painted real nice. Weather strips are replaced. Seal plates are new. Door panels were replaced when they uh, restored the car. It's called Teal Interior, as the SS logo. The dash is real nice, 62,807 miles. I have the little uh, oil change. Uh, it used to be stuck on the dash. I have it in the office, little oil change tickets, uh, some copies of my uh, odometers on the titles. Uh, so we can verify the miles. This is mint. The lens, the bezels, the gauge, all of it's mint. It does have an optional clock. It's only right twice a day. It does have one hairline, or big, bigger than a hairline, one crack in the dash pad. Heater controls move nice. They did replace the radio. It's an AM FM radio, not the original. Got your power antenna switch down here. Super Sport emblem over here. Light works in here. Has the original tire pressure gauge. Got a nice center console with the horse shoe shifter. Got the seat belts. The seats probably have new cushion in them because they're nice and plump and firm. Has a two tone upholstery, which is pretty cool. The back seat, side panels, the rear shelf, speaker cover, all this is in really nice shape. Headliner looks to be original because it has a little 
not staining, but it doesn't look brand new. Dome light's not working. Visors are in real nice shape. I don't see any holes. The headliner is excellent as far as that goes. Has its original Super Sport uh, steering wheel. Interior is very nice. You're in for a real treat. I just noticed we're talking about paint flaws. One tiny little blister right there. This is nice. This is show quality. I was like, wow, when I opened it. So this is the VIN number match, the original 396, 325 horsepower, big block. Um, looks to be all correct. The heat riser tube is still there. Those are the things that go missing over the years. Vacuum lines are hooked up. Uh, AC was rebuilt. The compressor was replaced. And it is updated with the R134 Freon. These inner fenders and the radiator support were powder coated. This is all proper, tidy, clean. The pulleys and brackets were powder coated. The radiator was replaced as the shroud, the correct clutch fan. All tidy, has power steering and power brakes. You see some numbers written on the firewall. That was uh, so the assembly line workers knew how to build the car. That number meant something to them. The washers are hooked up. Just very, very tidy, clean, proper, show quality motor compartment. You got a big block, matching numbered, air, power steering, power brakes. There's really nothing to apologize for in this car. I mean, it's numbers match. It's documented. It's very well restored. Uh, it has the nice options. It's tidy. Uh, underneath is tidy. The motor show quality. The trim is polished. I mean, if I own this car myself, I think it would go in the garage and go out and be enjoyed. I don't know of anything I'd really need to do or change. Door shut like new. It's a low mile, documented, rust free, number match. All of it. It's got it all. Usually there's something. Well, it's not a real super sport, or the numbers don't match, or it's had all new metal put on. There's always something. Uh, not with this car. No apologies. I love the Kregers, love the stance, and again, for a big car, it is sleek. It looks like it's moving fast when it's sitting here. Go to volocars.com. I just gave you my impression. Talk to the salesman. They'll help you out with your concerns. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. Won't that look nice? They can uh, get it financed all at volocars.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.